I don't have a specific plan. We're going to work on a couple of different things because I don't know the horse. Um, it makes my life a bit harder. But basically, we're going to work on some basics with this horse. And as I get to know it, I'll try and pick up on some things that I think it's finding difficult at the moment. Bounce is designed for, well, it's not like it. it's kind of a grid, but it's not. You don't want to be too quick in. Steady. Steady. Okay, it's quite short, it's a big horse, but he's okay, it won't do him any harm. So you see, when I come to that, I don't come too quick. Keep my body up just so that he doesn't rush too much. The last one might be a bit shorter, Jeff. And he's pulling a bit now, so just gently stop him. Leg on, hands back. Back. Good. That's okay. It is our Okay, we'll come back to that one. <laughs> a little wall filler down here. This horse isn't very inexperienced, so I don't think it's going to cause a problem, but if you were on a younger horse, that's the perfect way, maybe against the wall would be even easier, but I put it there so I could come off of a tight turn as well. I've got two guiding rails in front, just so he doesn't run out. Keep the horse cantering in front of you, so he's taking you early on. Always canter straight, use the corners. Okay. So, it's a style jump, it's a wall for an inexperienced horse, it's going to be a hard jump. It's nice just when you're educating them at home to give them the poles to keep them straight. Always make sure they're in front of your legs and they're taking you to the jump. So you can hold them. Good boy. Like I said before, just have the horse in front of your leg. And keep my leg around. Always control before you turn the corner. Nice normal distance. One, two, three, four. Good, that's fine. Horse is tired. I've got a little bit of pressure and the parallel is square. I already said that before. And I let him run a bit closer to the jump and I tend to fall. Stop. Always on the younger horse, I don't help him too much. When he's there, I just give my hands. Again, you never want to give your hands like this on the jump. You lose contact, the horse gets nervous. You need to support the horse. But I give my hands slightly because he has to learn to look after himself. You can't do everything for the horse, otherwise I might as well just get off and chuck him over. And I'm not that strong, I don't go to the gym, so. It's important that he makes himself careful by me getting here and pulling him off the jump. I can make him clear it, I think, if I really had to. But um, it's important he does it on his own. So we're going to do the same again. I'm not going to pull him in the mouth of the jump or anything. 